Hello, welcome back to Brain Sushi Electronic. In this episode, I will be showing you two tools that you can use to create spikes and horn. Spike, what I mean by spike is this spike that looks like uh, some kind of anime looking character hair. You know, like Dragon Ball or other anime characters. So you can see this spike, spiky hair. This is actually created by simply using an add-on called Kami, Kami Manga Hair. See, it says manga here and you can simply uh, create this by drawing it's, it's actually very easy uh, to use and this kami manga hair is an add-on by lump by ludwig so this uh, this is something that you can download you can also give donations to lump so you just download the hair it's, it's gonna come as a py code that you can install and then once you have that you can start drawing and I think this add-on is already quite quite perfect uh, in a way uh, it's perfect for uh, maybe what you need and you can control the taper and you can I believe you can control the the depth and the radius and the bevel and also the curve to control the profile of the hair and the cool thing about this hair is that it's also drawing on top of the previous curve so if you want to style style Suzanne with a anime or manga hair you can do that quite easily <coughs> um, Suzanne actually looks quite nice with this kind of here so yeah there's a lot of options like uh, smoothing straighten the hair and I believe it's better to do this um, twice like for example you, you first draw the hair like the smaller hair and then you you do another hair which is slightly thicker So, and sometimes the hair is actually hanging out. So that's uh, that's basically with the hair. I mean, you can. This is still like a curve, so you can edit it. Uh, you can convert it into mesh anytime by F three. And then convert to mesh. Ah, okay. Context is context is incorrect. Convert curve uh, to mesh okay. oh, interesting well anyway don't worry about convert conversion for now um, basically these are curve and as for the horn itself it's slightly different. It's a stretch of nodes. You basically draw um, grease pencil. Okay, so select the grease pencil object and then draw, and you can start drawing on or to Zen. You can have multiple strokes and just simply update it. So now we have this kind of horn for to Zen. As for the horn, if you want to know what's happening underneath, um, it's a node, node based tool, as you might already noticed. Um, this is, I think, very similar to Kami Manga Hair underneath. Kami Manga Hair is very nice and it's very hands on, while this one is more like a curve that you can draw using Dress Pencil and then you can animate, perhaps even using something like key mesh to animate the horn if you want um, so what's happening here I've done this many times I think I'm updating it for 2021 it's basically taking the grease pencil strokes you can have single stroke or multiple stroke and then you resample the grease pencil okay after you do that you you can add some kind of randomization if you like 
but sometimes it gives you like a twist. Maybe I need to have like a different rotation. Well, well, anyway, it's not particularly perfect, but it's, it's, it's interesting. Uh, anyway, maybe don't use randomize for now. Just keep it basic. Risk pencil, resample, and then bevel. As for the bevel, you can use as many, you can use different resolutions. So this, see this, this looks quite nice. And you can pick the step for the horn. And of course, the one that's doing the job is this bevel a curve nodes. It's doing the hard job, including adding cap to the start and the end. And then I actually have this curve mapper. This curve mapper is pretty interesting and useful. You can map the curve. You can, while it's updating, you can map the thickness. And I'm using this nodes because it has visual and you can evaluate the curve. Uh, this is for another resampling of the curve. Actually, it's not doing much. On top of that, I also have this twist. So, yeah, I think this. Uh, originally, I just wanted to show you this horn 2021. Oops, horn 2021. Yeah, and updated nodes for the horn setup. You can draw any kind of horn shapes, select your pencil and then draw. While I was doing this, I found out about Kami manga hair, so so well, why, why not showing spiky hair and a horn? Super pretty cool. Yeah, you, should, you notice I'm drawing the horn like from the end and then to, to the base. Um, what else? Taper, okay, here's also radius. Okay, radius is from here also. Yeah, I guess maybe it can be improved, definitely. But so far, I think that it's pretty good. With the horn itself, if you add a bevel and subdivision, it's gonna look nicer. Select this, select this. Command L, copy modifier. Yeah, but I think the spiky hair and the horn is really cool. It reminds me of old school anime character. Uh, yeah, this guy. See, even anime back then in the 70s or 60s already has spiky hair. So horn and spiky hair for Suzanne <laughs> or for your own character. Uh, play around with this. Um, let me know what you think and yeah. Maybe you can come out with a better character. So, thanks again for tuning in and I'll see you next time. Thank you. Bye.